This is amazing. What if you can use Gemini API using API keys generated from Google AI Studio? What if you can use generative AI package to interact with your Gemini API? What is the difference between Google AI Studio, Vertex AI, API keys and service account? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Gemini API using API key. And also we are going to see the difference between Vertex AI and Google AI Studio. I'm going to take you through step by step. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Coming to Gemini API, there are two ways of accessing this API. One is using Google Cloud Console. Another one is using Google AI Studio. Google Cloud Console looks like this. And here you can create your service account from the IAM and admin panel. Either you grant access to the existing email address or you can create a service account on the left hand side by clicking this icon. Service account is nothing but email address for our software to use. So that is all about Google Cloud Console. And we use Vertex AI Python package to interact with API. But in regards to Google AI Studio, we use Google Generative AI Python package to interact with the API and we generate API key from Google AI Studio to use Gemini API. So Google AI Studio looks like this and you can create your API key by clicking this button. Keep a copy of the API key that is required to run the current application which we are going to create. Now let's dive into the code. The first step is conda create hyphen in Gemini, Python equals 3.11 and click enter. Then conda activate Gemini and click enter. Next export your Google API key, which you have just generated from Google AI Studio here and then click enter. Next pip install Google generative AI package. This is the one used to interact with Gemini API. Now let's create a file called app.py and open it. Inside the file import, google.generativeai as genai, then import os. The first step is the configuration, where you pass your API key to genai.configure. Then you define the temperature, top P, top K, and then max output tokens. The second step is initializing the model. Here, genai.generative model, we are defining the model name and passing the generation config. And the third step is to generate content. That means ask questions to the large language model. To do that, response equals model.generateContent. And I'm asking a question, create a meal plan for today. And finally, we are printing out the response. So this is similar to Vertex AI API, which I've shown before, which I've linked that in the description below. In this, we are importing generative AI package, defining the configuration, initializing the model using genai.generative model, and then ask it to generate content by asking a question. Now we're going to run this code in your terminal, Python app.py and click enter. Now we got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and other tips. Now we're going to see how we can stream this response. To do that, I'm adding chunk in response and then printing the output. Now going to delete this line. Now going back to our terminal, Python app.py and click enter. Now it's going to stream. It streamed very quickly that you couldn't see the streamed response. Now we are going to use Gemini Vision API. So we're going to change the model name to Gemini Pro Vision. Then we are going to import the path from pathlib. Next, we are going to change the output, which is print response.txt. The configurations remain the same. In the generate content step, we are going to import image. Image path equals path image.jpg. Next, we are reading bytes from that image. Next, we are going to create prompt paths, which contains the question to ask about the image and the image. So the question we are going to ask is describe what the people are doing in this image. So this is the image and we are going to describe what the people are doing. And finally, response equals model dot generate content and passing the prompts. It's multimodal, so it can accept text and image. And finally, printing the response. Now we are going to run this code in your terminal Python app.py and click enter. Here is the answer. Two men are playing cricket. The man in the foreground is the batsman and the man in the background is the wicket keeper. The batsman is about to hit the ball with this bat. The wicket keeper is standing behind the stumps and ready to catch the ball if the batsman misses it. 
That's it. As simple as that. Now you're able to integrate Gemini into your own Python application. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.